From the birth of our nation through the current war on terror, New York State and its proud veterans have played a key role in world history. From the Revolutionary War battlefield in Saratoga to the Long Island factories that produced the nation's arsenal of freedom, to the West Point parade grounds that forged our nation's greatest military leaders, there is no doubting the fact that New York State and its citizens have been instrumental to our nation's survival. Each time our nation has called, courageous New Yorkers were there. When our forefathers took up arms to break away from the tyranny of the British monarch, more than 40,000 New Yorkers answered the call. When our country was torn apart by civil war, more than 360,000 New Yorkers were there, fighting for freedom and helping to preserve our nation's unity. When World War I threatened to consume Europe, thousands of New Yorkers crossed the Atlantic to defend democracy. In World War II, when ruthless dictators sought to destroy the free world as we know it, a generation of New Yorkers answered the call. From the battlefields of Korea, to the jungles of Vietnam, to the sands of the first Gulf War, New Yorkers were there, just as they are there today in both Afghanistan and Iraq. And it is not just New York soldiers who have sacrificed. Countless New York families have sacrificed as well, from Belmore to Buffalo, from Guanta to Watertown, and from Seaford to Syracuse. Thousands of loving mothers and fathers, husbands and wives, sons and daughters have known the sacrifice, the loneliness, and the heartbreak caused by war. It is in this vein that we pay tribute to all of you here today, and indeed to all Americans who have sacrificed so much for our great nation. We can never fully repay the courageous men and women who have done so much to defend our nation and to ensure freedom for millions of people around the globe. Because of your dedication and courage, the United States remains a beacon of freedom and liberty to the entire world. Thank you for your service, and God bless America.